Welcome everybody, it's Wild West Stacker. I hope you're having a great day. Now let's just start off by saying that first, I have not been picking up any silver these past couple weeks. It has been really high priced. And after my experience last year of the whole silver squeeze, I am trying to avoid this high premium silver. So I am not buying yet. Look at this, I got a package from Vermilion Enterprises. He had a 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Cool channel, it's a coin shop down in Spring Hills, Florida. Really like his info he gives. Look at this, 2018 MS70, it's a Panda, it's a first strike, and this is my first PCGS slab too, I'm not a huge fan of the slabs, but it's pretty cool, 2018, proof like finish in the background there, delivered within 30 days of initial release, okay, looks like it comes in this cool little plastic, we could probably take it out of there. Ooh, it looks good. It's a cool little panda. Looks like he's got a little mark on his cheek right there. So I don't know if that's just from hitting another coin or what. Looks like it's got it's a value of 10 yuan. And of course, these are 30 grams. This is why I've stayed away from these is they're not the full troy ounce. But I guess if we treat them like Geigers, you know, 10, 20, 30, 50 grams. Kind of in the same ballpark. So way cool. Thank you, Brian, at Vermilion Enterprises. Uh, FYI, he probably needs a little card to go in there because, I mean, he's got a coin shop. You should definitely advertise it. He has a really cool channel. So make sure you check him out. Awesome. All right. Let's leave him out on the side here. So I have not been picking up silver, right? So what is my plan today to show off? And here's my box of disaster. This is one of those Boba Fett boxes, and this is the way it came right from Atmex. And these used to be fairly inexpensive. I mean, under $30. And then they started charging $50, 60 uh, So I don't collect these anymore. But here is my stash of silver that is not encapsulated. Ugh. I mean, so some of these are really hard to find. For instance, so these are Libertads. Even the small ones, I don't know if they'll fit in any certain capsule. I'll have to order something. Or like this one, it's a one and a half ouncer, so I'll have to find a special cap. Okay, we're back, and boy, what a disaster. So, this entire second pile basically down here is my Silver Eagles. And I'm finding out that certain things like the Kangaroo are probably going to need that 40 millimeter. It's a little bit bigger. And it looks like things coming out of the New Zealand Mint for um, Nui are bigger as well. Like this Hawksbill Turtle. Uh, the Superman coin, if you can tell here. Let's see here. So here's the Superman, and then these are the 39 millimeter Britannia. So even though there's a queen on these, it's more the size of like that Silver Eagle in there. I made two piles, uh, generic rounds like the Aztecs. Now usually I keep these in tubes, but I want to keep some in the capsule to make them look pretty. So I'm going to keep that in that pile. And it looks like all these. With a South Korean mint, they use all 39 millimeter. Pretty crazy. The only ones I didn't really get to look at too much were these two ounces. I should have looked online. I don't know. We're going to see if these fit. Because I did find from that fire guy some two ounce Queen's Beasts. And these are the 39 millimeter. I guess I could kind of just look. And it looks like, yeah, that'll work. There are two ounces that need the 40 millimeter, and those are usually uh, the ones out of, I think it's New Zealand again. It's like the the crocodile with the baby crocodile, and the, anything with the babies, those ones use a little bit bigger. So it's a little something to do. And then for, for a very inexpensive price, I got this 50 pack of 39 holders, and this was Amazon again. And it looks like it just comes, you know, standard packaging. Ooh, the capsules look good. All right, well, let me get some of these on there, and we'll take a look at how they turned out. All right, got these all encapsulated, and these are those H40 holders. And look, like the Wonder Woman took those. It's hard to pick up things with this glove. Uh, the Superman, which kind of shocked me, was the, here we go, the Kangaroo. The Roos are a little bigger. Whoa. 
sundial pattern. Crazy. Don't have too many of these. But mostly, I mean, the Silver Eagles. This is what it's for. And I believe... Yeah, there we go. So there's a 2021 Type 1 and a 2022 Type 2. So they take the H40. All right, I was about ready to start putting in these Comscos, like the Tiger. Oh yeah, I found another Boba Fett. What was that? Chon Wayne. And these apparently don't fit, so it looks like I'm underneath the same size as the Silver Eagle, the H40 for all of the Comsco Mint stuff. So I'm gonna pull that out and put it aside. Now, I've got four of these out. These are just the bottoms. Let's see here. This is what I've been doing, trying to go through this a little faster. Drop one in, move to the next. And then just put all four on at once. So there's Lady Justice, cool, she fits. There's how you drop silver on each other, but it fits. Wearing these gloves it sure is slippery, but I suppose it protects it from some oils. Whatever. All right, so then you just come across here. Okay, one, two, three, and four. All right, so that's the fastest way I found to go ahead and do it. So there we have four encapsulated coins now, and they're ready to go. So let me go ahead and get the rest of these done because, boy, it does take a while to pull apart all the plastic, uh, to rip it. I mean, using my old trusty knife over here, trying not to cut myself. I'm like, that one's a round. Really, it probably could just go in a tube, but I want one of them in a capsule just so it stays all looking clean on the snakeskin side. All right, I'll be back in a few. All right. Got all these encapsulated. Um, let's see here. This one I pulled out. Check this out. This is an older 1822 the Sovereign. He's, uh, I think it's King George there slaying the dragon. Notice that flip like an old American coin too. And these are really cool because, look at this, they have sweet edge writing. This one has some toning on the edge. And I did look up under a microscope, or I guess a loop on this one, and it has been cleaned. So, you know, it's not the most rare coin. It's probably not worth sending in to get graded or anything. But I didn't have it in a capsule. And check this out. Those 38, what is it, 39 millimeters fit this perfectly. And you could still see the writing on the edge just a little. I mean, it's not the easiest, but you could definitely see there's some writing going on there. All right, well, I've still got my glove on here, and let's just take a look at this. This is my tube of Silver Eagles that I purchased back in 2020 when I very first started stacking. All right, United States Treasury right there. U.S. Mint, that's pretty cool. I have not opened this up since then, so these are 2020s. Let's see if I can get it. Come on. I'm just going to check and see if there's any toning going on inside the tube. Um, I'm hoping not. Yeah, it looks like they're pretty well protected. Don't see any milk spotting. Let's go ahead and take these out. You know, make a little room for them here. There we go. Okay. And that's the first one off the top. If there's going to be any toning, it's usually going to be on that one. And I am not seeing anything. Good looking coin. These are the type ones. Now, again, you do not need to put these in capsules. I know I did, but that's for my own personal reasons. I like to give them away for gifts, like to my kids or whatever. So it's easier to put them in a capsule. They don't get chips or toning then when they sit on the kid's desk. And so far, all these eagles look really good. I mean, I've seen some people even get graded coins, MS-70s, and they have milk spots and tone spots. And these look really good. And remember, this is just a standard 
Toshiba Eagles. It's not like one of those PCGS first strikes or anything. Again, 2020. Really good looking coins. I'm really shocked that, you know, they've just sat in the safe and they've done their job. They've just stored wealth. And that's another thing let's talk about, people. I am hearing a lot of people saying they're buying this, buying that. Change your, the way you're talking. You're exchanging your fiat currency for real money, whether it's gold or silver, maybe platinum. Whoa, about drop that guy. But you're exchanging your money. You're not buying. So this is not an investment. This is a store of wealth. It is not supposed to gain crazy value over the course of like a couple of months. Okay, so that one might have a little spot right there. Come on, focus. Yeah, so that one has a little milk spot, it looks like, forming on the far right. Let's take a look at the back. The back looks good. So it's all how you phrase how you're doing the silver stacking. Um, some people will say, you know, this is an investment. It's a horrible investment. We'll quit looking at it like an investment. It is a store of wealth, nothing more. It is a precious metal. That's what they called it, cold hard cash back in the day. It's not because your dollar bills were cold. Come on. Well, overall, I'm looking at these e eagles, and I'm really surprised. Everyone is in really good shape for just sitting in the tube for well over a year. They're all looking good. I'm just going to take a quick gander. They all look fine. All right. Got to love that sound. So I'm going to put all these back into the tube and then I like to put the original one on top back on top because if there was any toning it's usually on this top one so there he goes and a tube of 20 way cool all right so we got our silver eagles in the tube now joining his friends over here that we now know can hold 20 in each of these little red tubes which is pretty sweet I'm enjoying that. And hey, you know, I haven't picked up any silver lately, but luckily I got friends like Brian down at Palm Springs, Florida, Vermillion Industries. Look at that, a panda. Never had a panda before. I dig it. Awesome, everybody. Okay, well, thanks so much for checking out my channel. We're gonna take a look at this knife real quick because I used this to open up all these packages and it was just like butter. Yeah, all right, you can't beat that. And for those curious, the knife pounds, this is a VG10 stainless steel. That's the steel that comes out of Japan. It is really sharp and dicey. It's my favorite steel out there. And you can't beat that in a dagger, huh? Awesome. All right, well, we're on the premiere train, everybody, so make sure you hit the link in the bottom of the chat. I believe we're going to Mrs. Coin Crew next. And thanks so much for stopping by. I hope everybody has a great day. All right, this is Wild West. Everybody have a good one.